Hey, good morning. It's Thursday. Welcome to Thursday Thunder. I'm Bradley Shrabino. You know that phrase like, come out of the closet? This is go into the closet. It's the opposite. It's all good. Hey, so I'm here recording my next audiobook for How to Write Your Worst Book Ever. And I just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes of what goes on here at Bradley Shrabino Author Inc. And first of all, you got to get comfortable, right? <clears throat> you got to get in cozy wear and then, you know, make sure your make sure your hair's bad and you probably wouldn't go out in public. Not that I go out in public a lot these days anyway. <laughs> but that's a different story. So I got a couple things here today. I got two things. I got one is something that you could do to get some extra out of what you're doing. And then there's something that you should not do to not put that extra into something that you're doing. You ready? So one is taking another perspective on something you're working on. So for example, I got this book. I typed it with fingers into keyboard into text on a screen. I'm writing it. Whereas now I'm recording it, audio recording, I'm reading it, I'm recording out loud. I'll do a little demo for you in a sec, but uh, that brings out a different perspective, even though it's the same person, still you, right? But a different part of your brain is working on that and you get into it in a different way and you see things, you hear things, you digest, you take them in in a different way. So then you get a different perspective on your own creation. Pretty cool, right? I mean, I this is my best editing phase when I'm reading, narrating my audiobooks. So that's one thing you can do to go deeper into something, to focus and really laser focus into something you're working on is look at it in a different medium, right? So if I was writing, this is narrating. So maybe you've got something, it's a physical product, how would it look digitally, right? Stuff like that. So then related, I wanna talk about some stuff that you shouldn't do. So I even have a course called Audio for Authors. It's about how to record audiobooks. However, <laughs> if you really want to know, I don't recommend narrating your own audiobooks. The tech is a pain. It's a whole lot of work. I've got it down. I've mastered it. It's a bit of a pun there because you master your audio to get it uploaded to <laughs> the proper channels. But it's a lot of work. I'll, I'll show you a screenshot of what this software is doing and how I'm recording the book. So by the way, I've got my, see, I've got my mic over here and that's why I'm in the closet. Another reason I'm in the closet, by the way, I'll try to get this in here, but it's spring here in the Netherlands. And unlike where I grew up, we actually have seasons here and the birds are going nuts outside. It's like I live in an aviary and the birds are just, it's beautiful. Not so good for audiobook recording. <laughs> so, so on that note, take the stuff that's good and go deeper into it through a different perspective or another medium. And then look at the stuff that maybe you don't have to do or you shouldn't be doing or you can farm out or, or you know, get some help with. But like this, like if I weren't so passionate about narrating my own books, I wouldn't do it and I shouldn't be doing it. But I love it. I mean, for me, this is fun. I get to hide out here and I get to really get deep into the content of the books. And I get that through the audiobook narration. So for me, this is fun. So if the geeky stuff or the difficult stuff is good for you or fun for you or lucrative or whatever it is, whatever good reason it is to do it, by all means, do it. But this, for example, if you're on the edge about audiobooks or not, I have a full course. I'll show you how to do the tech. It's a nightmare. I'm telling you right now. But if you want control over your own content and you are the narrating type, then then I, I wholeheartedly recommend it. So I'm going to give you a little demo here and I make sure you got your, you got to have your water, right? Got to have your water. A little sip of that. Got my laptop over here. By the way, I have two computers going on. The recording computer is not in this room. The recording computer is in the next room and I have hit record. I mean, this is a disaster, but I've hit record and then I can just chop out all this junk and then I get over here and I've got my, I've got my vellum, I've got my book here ready to go and now I can start recording. So first, you got to give yourself about one second of uh, silence to get started. 
and I'll also show you the difference between garbage uh, audio, which we're getting now, and then I'll splice in the good stuff when I'm done with this, and I'll let you hear this chapter four on how to write your worst book ever. Ready? Here we go. Chapter four. Fail fast, fail often. If it works for Silicon Valley, we could at least give it a try. <laughs> I have fun doing this stuff. I love this stuff. It's super early morning, but uh, this is where I've got to get, the, you know, the birds are out, so I've got them blocked off. The whole family's asleep. Actually, I think Luca's up doing biology studying, which is unheard of. But I just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes here at, at Repossible and showing you the stuff that I really love doing, and I'm digging down and digging deep. And then I'm going to look at it from another perspective. And then I also want to give you the out of the stuff that you're doing that you think it's not your strength or you're really working hard for less benefit, kick it out of bed. Now do have somebody else do it or find another way to get it done. But don't spend all your time then really struggling uphill. It should be like a bobsled ride downhill. That's what recording audiobooks are for me. Hey, I'm going to give you, I'll splice in the real chapter here, chapter four for you, so you can hear what it sounds like with good audio. And then uh, I'm going to send you a link here. I'll put a link here at the bottom where you can get this audiobook as of today. And what's really cool is I found a new service that I can, I can distribute it directly. And I get 95% of the proceeds, which, believe me, if, if you want to know a little insider secret, if you buy an audiobook through Audible, through uh, Amazon's Audible, the narrator, if it's narrator, author, both, get, get maybe 24%. So if you think $10 book, you're getting, you're getting 240 Whereas if I sell a $10 book directly on this new service that I'll share with you later on, in a link below, I'll get 95%. I'll get the 950 and And you get... It's a, a fantastic app, and I've heard people, they like it even better than the audio Audible app. So check it out. I'll put the link below down to, uh, down to Worst Book Ever. And uh, this is one of my favorite chapters, fail, fail Fast, Fail Often, very Silicon Valley of me. But it's very relevant for this book and what we're doing. So, hey, thanks for being here on Thursdays. Uh, I'm here every week, not always in the closet. I'm, I'm coming out of the closet. And, uh, <laughs> and the Repossible podcast. Thanks for joining. I'll see you next week. And I got to get back to narrating. I got, I got stuff to do. I didn't realize how much.